The NFL Draft is a lot more than just a first round, even though a lot of thought is given to that first round in retrospect. I'm guilty of that too, as I focus exclusively on the first round in my recent video on the 1999 NFL Draft. Well, I'm here today to fix that, as in this video we're going to look beyond the first round and recognize the players from the second through seventh rounds, as well as very key undrafted free agents that had successful careers in the National Football League. From To keep this from getting too long, we're only going to look at the careers of players that made at least one Pro Bowl in their career. So let's go ahead and take a brief look at the careers of players that you might have forgotten about. Players that were taken on day two of the NFL Draft are guys that you expect to contribute heavily to the team that drafted them or have a generally long career. And these players certainly did that. Across these six careers, there are combined 10 Pro Bowls, one first team All Pro, four second team All Pros, and four Super Bowl champions. Great value for these teams that took these players. The 38th pick in the 1999 NFL Draft had a very solid nine year career in the NFL, spending all of those seasons with the team that drafted him, the Carolina Panthers. His best season came in 2003, where he appeared in 14 games, recording 59 total tackles, 48 solo, 16 tackles for loss, 12 sacks, 6 pass deflections, 1 forced fumble, and was named to his only Pro Bowl that year as well. Overall, for that 9-year career, Mike Rucker appeared in 139 games, starting in 106 of them, recording 422 tackles, 85 tackles for loss, 55 and a half sacks, 15 forced fumbles, 1 interception, 28 pass deflections, and an AV value of 64, and he retired following the 2007 season. The 41st pick at the 1999 NFL Draft, Bly was a really good starting corner in the NFL for 11 years, spending 4 seasons with the Rams, 4 seasons with the Lions, 2 seasons with the Broncos, and 1 season with the 49ers. His best year came in 2003, where he appeared in 14 games, recording 60 total tackles, 52 of them solo, 4 tackles for loss, 5 forced fumbles, 3 fumble recoveries, 1 fumble recovery for a touchdown, 6 interceptions, 15 pass deflections, and an interception return for a touchdown as well. Overall for his career, Bly appeared in 167 games, starting in 157 of them, recording 528 total tackles, 463 solo tackles, 22 tackles for loss, 5 sacks, 20 forced fumbles, 12 fumble recoveries, 43 interceptions, 150 pass deflections, 6 total defensive touchdowns, and an AV of 66. He was named to two Pro Bowls, one in 2003 and one in 2004, and was a member of the Rams team that won Super Bowl 34. He retired following the 2009 season. The 73rd pick in the 1999 NFL Draft. Porter was an above average and sometimes dominant outside linebacker in the NFL for 13 years, spending eight seasons with the Steelers, three seasons with the Dolphins, and two seasons with the Cardinals. His best season came in 2008 where he appeared in all 16 games, recording 48 total tackles, 37 of them solo, 18 tackles for loss, 17 and a half sacks, four forced fumbles, and one pass deflection. He was also named to a Pro Bowl, a second team All-Pro, and a top 10 in comeback player of the year voting that year as well. Overall for his career, Porter appeared in 188 total games, starting in 171 of them, recording 689 total tackles, 516 solo, 124 tackles for loss, 98 sacks, 25 forced fumbles, 10 fumble recoveries, 12 interceptions, 3 defensive touchdowns, and a safety, and an AV of 114. He was named to four Pro Bowls, one first-team All-Pro, three second-team All-Pros, a one-time Super Bowl champion with the Steelers in 2005, and was named to the NFL All-Decade Team of the 2000s. He retired following the 2011 season. The 75th pick in the 1999 NFL Draft, Stills was known more of a special teams ace in the league and was also a decent backup edge rusher in the NFL for 10 seasons, spending 7 years with the Chiefs, 2 with the Ravens, and 1 with the Rams. His best season came in 2003, appearing in 16 games, recording 38 total tackles, all of them solo, 
six tackles for loss, three sacks, three forced fumbles, and was named to his only Pro Bowl in his career. Overall, for his career, Stills appeared in 134 games, starting in only one of those games, recording 206 total tackles, 189 solo, 17 tackles for loss, 8.5 sacks, and 6 forced fumbles. He was named to the one Pro Bowl in his career and retired following the 2008 season. The 78th pick in the 1999 NFL Draft, Booker was a solid starting wide receiver in the NFL for 11 seasons, spending 6 seasons with the Bears, 4 seasons with the Dolphins, and 1 season with the Falcons. His best season came in 2002 with the Bears, as he recorded 97 receptions for 1,189 yards, 6 receiving touchdowns, and a yards per reception of 12.3. Overall for his career, Booker appeared in 157 games, starting in 117 of them, recording 539 receptions, 6,703 receiving yards, 37 touchdowns, a 12.4 yards per reception, and an AV of 58. He was named to that one Pro Bowl in his career and retired following the 2009 season. The 80th pick in the 1999 NFL Draft, Gramatica got off to a good start to his career of an NFL kicker, but struggled with injuries during his 11 seasons, spending six seasons with the Buccaneers, two with the Colts, two with the Saints, and one with the Cowboys. His best season came in 2000, where he made 28 of his 34 field goal attempts with a long of 55 and made all of his 42 extra point attempts. He was named to the Pro Bowl that season as well as being named a second team All-Pro. Overall for his career, Gramatica made 155 of his 203 attempts, a 76.4% rate, 228 of his 239 extra point attempts with a long of 55 yards and an AV of 18. He was named to one Pro Bowl, one second team All-Pro, and was a member of two Super Bowl winning teams with the Buccaneers in 2002 and with the Colts in 2006. He retired following the 2008 season. For the players taken in Day 3, the Supplemental Draft, and undrafted free agents, you just want to get a player of value, a good backup, or a solid starter. Anything more than that is an absolute incredible steal, and these next players define that 100%. Across these 11 careers, they combined for 22 Pro Bowls, 4 First Team All-Pros, 4 Second Team All-Pros, and 5 Super Bowl Championships. Really good value out of the later rounds of the draft and in the undrafted free agent market. The 109th pick in the 1999 NFL Draft, Smith was a solid starting edge rusher for 13 seasons in the NFL, spending all of those years with the team that drafted him, the Pittsburgh Steelers. His best season came in 2004, where he appeared in all 16 games, starting in 15 of them, recording 44 total tackles, 31 solo, 10 tackles for loss, 8 sacks, 3 forced fumbles, and 2 fumble recoveries. Overall, for his career, Smith appeared in 160 games, starting in 152 of them, recording 481 total tackles, 344 solo, 84 tackles for loss, 44 sacks, 7 forced fumbles, 9 fumble recoveries, 1 interception, 21 pass deflections, and an AV of 89. He was named to the 1 Pro Bowl in 2004 and was a member of two Super Bowl winning teams with the Steelers in 2005 and 2008 and he retired following the 2011 season. The 133rd overall pick in the 1999 NFL Draft, Bidwell was a compensatory draft pick that didn't actually make his debut until the 2000 season. He spent 11 seasons in the NFL, spending four with the Packers, five with the Buccaneers, one injured, and one with Washington. His best season came in 2005, where he recorded 90 punts with an average yard of punt of 45.6, a net average of 37.5 yards, and 24 punts inside the 20. He was named to the Pro Bowl and second team All-Pro team that season as well. Overall for his career, Bidwell appeared in 148 games, recording 742 punts, an average of 42.7, a net average of 36.5, 212 punts inside the 20, and an AV of 21. He was named to the one Pro Bowl and one second team All-Pro in his career and retired following the 2010 season. The 147th overall pick in the 1999 NFL Draft, Azuma was a backup corner and return man in the NFL for seven seasons, and all seven of those seasons be being with the Chicago Bears. His best season came in 2003, where on the defensive side of the ball, he recorded 82 total tackles, 71 solo, 11 tackles for loss, one sack, and four interceptions. But he made his biggest impact as a returner, having over 1,199 kick return yards, two kick return touchdowns, and was named to the Pro Bowl and was the second team All-Pro as well. 
overall for his career, Azuma appeared in 105 games starting in 49 of them, recording 375 total tackles, 317 solo, 8 tackles were lost, 6.5 sacks, 4 forced fumbles, 10 interceptions, 1 defensive touchdown, and an AV of 33. He also added in 2,885 kick return yards and 2 kick return touchdowns. He was named to the one Pro Bowl and one second team All-Pro team in his career and retired following the 2005 season. The 153rd overall pick in the 1999 NFL Draft, Coleman was a solid starting defensive tackle in the NFL for nine seasons, spending five of them with the Raiders and four of them with the Falcons. His best season came in the 2005 season where he appeared in all 16 games starting 16 of them, recording 40 total tackles, 35 of them solo, nine tackles for loss, 10 and a half sacks, four forced fumbles, and six pass deflections. He was named to the Pro Bowl last season, as well as being named a second-team All-Pro. Overall, for his career, Coleman appeared in 109 games, starting in 70 of them, recording 271 total tackles, 220 of them solo, 71 tackles for loss, 58 and a half sacks, 11 forced fumbles, one interception, one interception return for a touchdown, 32 pass deflections, and an AV of 42. He was named to one Pro Bowl and a one second team all pro in his career and retired following the 2007 season. 213th overall pick in the 1999 NFL Draft, Driver was a great wide receiver for the Packers for the, almost the entirety of his 13 year NFL career with the team, leading the Packers in several career receiving records when he retired from the team. His best season came in 2006, where he recorded 92 receptions for 1,295 yards, a yards per reception of 14.1, and 8 receiving touchdowns. He was named to the Pro Bowl that season, and overall for his career, Driver recorded 743 receptions for 10,137 receiving yards, a yard per reception of 13.6, and 61 touchdowns. He was named to four Pro Bowls in his career and was a Super Bowl champion with the Packers in 2010. He retired following the 2012 season. The 241st overall pick in the 1999 NFL Draft, Maury was a deaf wide receiver and a special team specialist for his nine-year NFL career, spending three seasons with the Cardinals, three with the Steelers, two with the Eagles, and one with the Patriots. His best season came in 2008, where on special teams he recorded 18 total tackles and was named to the Pro Bowl that year as well. Overall for his career, Maury recorded 98 total tackles and was named to one Pro Bowl and has one Super Bowl ring with the Steelers. He retired after the 2009 season. After spending years in the CFL and bouncing around NFL practice squads, Ayam Adejo was in the NFL for 10 seasons, spending five of them with the Ravens, three seasons with the Bears, and two with the Dolphins as a special teams ace. His best season came in 2006, where he recorded 26 tackles and a forced fumble. Overall for his career, Ayabadejo appeared in 142 games, 7 starts, recording 254 tackles, 192 solo, 8 tackles for loss, 4.5 sacks, 4 forced fumbles, 2 interceptions, and an AV of 29. He was named to 3 Pro Bowls and won a Super Bowl with the Ravens in 2012, and he retired following the 2012 season. An undrafted free agent that was signed by the Packers, Hanson spent a decade in the NFL as a starting punter, spending one year with the Packers, six seasons with the Jaguars, and three seasons with the Patriots. His best season came in 2002, where he recorded 81 punts for an average of 44.2 yards per punt, a net yard per punt of 37.6 yards, and 27 punts inside the 20. He was named to the Pro Bowl and a second team All-Pro that year as well. Overall for his career, Hansen appeared in 134 games, recording 577 total punts, a yard per punt of 42.5 yards, a net yard per punt of 35.8 yards, 186 punts inside the 20, and an AV of 19. He made one Pro Bowl and a second team All-Pro, and retired following the 2009 season. An undrafted free agent that was signed by the Chiefs, Waters was one of the most dominant offensive guards in the NFL for his 13-year NFL career, spending 11 seasons with the Chiefs, one with the Patriots, and one with the Cowboys. His best seasons came in the 2004 and 2005 seasons, where he was named a first-team All-Pro in both years. Overall for his career, Waters appeared in 186 games, starting in 170 of them, was named to six Pro Bowls, two first-team All-Pros, and was named a 2009 Walter Payton Man of the Year and he retired following the 2013 season. 
an undrafted free agent that was signed by the Steelers. Schneck was a starting long snapper for 11 years, spending six seasons with the Steelers, three years with the Falcons, and two with the Bills. His best year came in 2005, where he was named to the Pro Bowl. Overall, Schneck appeared in 159 career games, named to that one Pro Bowl in 2005, and he retired following the 2009 season. An undrafted free agent that wasn't signed until 2001 by the Bills, Mormon was one of the best punters of his entire 14-year NFL career, spending 13 seasons with the Bills and one season with the Cowboys. His best season came in 2005, where he recorded 71 punts, led the league with an average yard per punt of 45.7 yards and a net average of 39.1 yards and 22 punts inside the 20. He was named a first-team All-Pro member and the, named to the Pro Bowl that year as well. And overall for his career, Mormon appeared in 202 games, recording 979 punts, an average yard per punt of 43.9, a net yard per punt of 37.5, 281 punts inside the 20, and an AV of 30. He was named to two Pro Bowls, two first-team All-Pros, and was named to the Pro Football Hall of Fame All-Decade Team of the 2000s, and he retired following the 2013 season. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate all the support for this draft retrospective the past few weeks, with the 99 first-round retrospective being a big hit. And I plan on continuing this, getting started early on the 2000 NFL draft here soon. And as always, keeping up with all the NFL news with the Packers and the Brewers as well. So thank you guys so much. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one.